Hi everyone, it's Melanie. I am coming to you on week five of my bariatric video journal. And I was originally going to say that this week was uneventful, but it wasn't. It was actually very full of a lot of hard stuff. Um, like a lot of people in society nowadays, I do suffer from um, a mental illness. I am, I deal with uh, generalized anxiety that I get treated and um, I'm on medication for. Um, the doctor is taking me off of one of my medications um, in preparation for the surgery. She had suggested that I do it now, so if there's any problems, we can adjust um, medications, get me on something that would be more appropriate um, after the bariatric sleeve um, than what I was taking. So um, I was dealing with a lot of anxiety this week. It's not fun. I know coming off of a new medication, or not a new medication, but coming off of a medication um, is harder than just being off of it. So I still feel positive about the change, and I think that it's going to be a good thing um, that my body just has to get used to the uh, other medicine that I do take um, was working really well on its own before I added this other the second one so I'm hoping to go back to that um, and if not I'll just keep up to date with my doctor and make sure that everything is documented and that we're keeping up on everything so um, as far as preparations for the surgery, uh, I've been using my phone. I have an Apple. So, um, I know that the, uh, this app is, um, bariastic. Um, I know you can't really see it, um, but it's a great app. It helps you track your food. It has recipes, it has a checklist um, for everything that you need to do. It has a spot for daily notes so you can journal in it. This uh, phone reminder so it you can remind yourself to drink water. You can remind yourself um, for protein shakes, vitamins. Um, remind yourself to eat. You know, a lot of us has, have trouble with that. And then there's another reminder. Then they have timers, which I was looking at that today, and I thought that was really cool. Um, they have the 30-minute um, timer from when to drink to when you can eat. So um, it says, you know, 30 minutes, do not eat yet. And then they have one once you <laughs> eat not to drink for 30 minutes. So it says, do not drink yet. And then... 20 second timer for you to ch remember to chew and it's cute it says chew 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 um you can connect it to a wearable device um to keep count of your steps and it has little quotes every day to help you keep motivated i like today's if i quit now i will soon be back to where i started and when I started, I was desperately wishing to be where I am now. That one kind of struck a chord with me. I haven't lost any weight yet, but I've been tracking my food on the app. Again, it was bariastic. Um, great. I really like it. Um, I have been working really hard on keeping my protein intake up. I actually went to the store yesterday with my mom. Um, 
which was tough with the anxiety and I got myself some muscle milk. I wanted to try it. It's a non-dairy protein shake with 100 calories and zero sugar and what was the 20 grams of protein. So me and shakes. I have a history with them. This one tastes really good, by the way, the chocolate muscle, muscle milk. Um, but I can't be buying pre-made shakes all the time to drink every day. Um, I was trying this one for um, when I need to have a shake to go, a quick shake to go or a quick shake in the morning um, until I can really start working on adjusting my schedule to include drinking a shake every morning. It's tough for me. I have a great history with shakes. Um, if you look back in my YouTube feed, um, my YouTube channel, I used to be a beach body coach. I drank beach body shakes every day. I loved them. I posted recipes. I I just, it was great. Um, but in my current situation, making a shake every morning hasn't been happening. So my food intake has been a struggle because what do you eat? I mean, really, when you're in a rush, you eat junk food. But I seem to always be in a rush. Um, or waiting, waiting too long until I'm really hungry and then I rush to get something to eat. Um, my friend was talking to me today about preparing meals and preparing snacks ahead of time. And I love the idea. And I think it's a great idea. But in my situation, it's going to be a lot harder. Um, I haven't really talked about my home situation very much, but I live with my parents right now. And although it's great for a support system, um, I just, you know, it's a house full of adults and we all have different schedules and we all have different priorities and we all have different lives and I found it a little bit harder to incorporate my healthy um, habits into this situation. So um, rather than when I was living alone or um, when I was with my ex, um, you know, when you have two adults and a child, um, it seemed easier for me to get my shakes in every day and exercise and um, I have to figure it out because I'm going to be here until my surgery and I'm going to um, really need the support of my family and I'm going to have to figure out how to pre-portion snacks so I can grab them quick. So this week hasn't necessarily been uneventful, but it's been a struggle. So um, there's gonna be weeks like this, always. There's not any life that we can live that's going to be easy all the time so what's most important is how we react to the difficult times and what we do when we're faced with a difficult time so um, that is basically everything that's been going on this week and um, I thank you for watching um, if you like the video please like um, press the like button and if you're interested in following me through my journey to bariatric surgery um, please subscribe 
Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Thanks again for watching.